no, student na mm-hmm. nasa nursing pero ang galing-galing nilang gumawa ng ng graphics, ang, ang galing-galing nilang mag-sketch, ang galing 'yon. So, you know, don't give up on it. We Even feel, if the we whole feel world that too. Parang we feel that too yung parang multimedia sa ano, drawing drawing lang 'yan. <laughs> kumbaga, <laughs> kumbaga parang PowerPoint, PowerPoint lang. 'Yun lang tingin nila eh. <laughs> Yes, oo, di ba? Yun lang yung iniisip na. Actually, me, mm-hmm. when I was starting out, when my, my family was asking me when I was about to graduate high school, they were te- asking me, what do you want to be when you grow up? As in serious question. So I, was, I told them I wanted to be a director and everybody laughed at me. Oh, they, wow, ouch. Oh, they laughed at me and I was like, oh, man. But you know, eventually, when I, when I got to Peru, kasi I graduated in FEU, um, Yo, I graduated ako cum laude. Eventually, yung lola ko, she told me she was proud of me. That was yo, and yung mga stuff. So you have to prove yourself also. Mm-hmm. So don't give up on your passion. If it, if that's what you want, go for it. Do it. Because that's where you're you're gonna be happy, and when you're happy, you're gonna succeed eventually. Because mm-hmm. you love what you do. It's not. It doesn't feel like a job to you. So for me, that's it. Surviving the media industry. Yay. The <laughs> <laughs> But I hope you guys. Sige, um, sige. So we'll take a quick break lang uh, while Mika goes back to her webcam. So So Digital Guru Tutorials would like to thank its streaming partners for today's broadcast. I hope you can check them out. Okay, so our first is check out uh, CG Creator Certification. Guys, uh, kung gusto nyo magtrabaho sa Japan, yung mga studios nila doon, uh, required sila mag- magkaroon ng CG Creator Certification. Uh, parang exam um, proof. Okay, so uh, for the first time ever, um, may Philippine delegates na pinindala sa Japan to actually conduct their certification here sa Philippines. So visit www.cgcreatorcertification.com Um, so anyone na merong certification or more certified from here sa Philippines can now actually apply for the studios, for anime studios, game studios sa Japan. Okay? So um, also, uh, there's a new org out. Uh, it's called the Multimedia Arts Association of the Philippines. It's the first ever professional organization for multimedia arts. Um, you can check them out at www.maap.com.ph. Maraming seminars uh, in the future na sila pinaplan. At the same time, mga programs like discounts for Adobe, uh, discounts for different plugins and creatives and seminars. So, please check them out. So, this live stream is brought to you by Digital Guru. So, uh, kung gusto mo yung content na ito or content na ginagawa ko, please uh, follow and subscribe to my YouTube at saka sa Facebook uh, page ko. Okay? So, shout out sa mga FEU Arts na nanonood. I hope you I, you guys are all safe. Um, we are still trying to get some news on about our next semester, kung online class siya or hindi. So, please stay tuned sa ating announcement. Uh, for those who are watching outside, uh, welcome sa Digital Guru. This is one of our live streams. Uh, we have a couple of more uh, episodes to go. So, Uh, if you want to be notified sa next live stream namin, uh, please click like and follow sa Facebook or subscribe and click the notification bell sa YouTube. Okay? So, Mika, are you back? Yeah! Yeah! Off ko muna ta. So, wow, ang daming tips. Sobrang daming tips. Parang marami kang hugot. Ilang years ka na ba sa industry right now? Five pala! Five? Ay, wow, yeah. wow. Five years, all five ABS. Years. Yes. Oh, wow. Five. So far, the network has taught me a lot. I oh. mean, not just um, career-wise, but also how I deal with myself. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, it does that to you. <laughs> it does that to you. Mapapareflect ka talaga minsan eh. Uh-oh. Parang, <laughs> dami, uh, advice kala sa mga bata kasi uh, maraming dyan na uh, excited na kunyari nakagawa ng effects, etc. Very palaban sila, maraming pinaglalaban. Yes. Tapos, you see us now, you see us now, tiba kunyari may bagong bata, no? mas magaling sa akin. Tayo, relax na eh. Parang, uh, well, of course, magaling siya kasi he's just his own boss. <laughs> ba? Diba? Wait exactly. till he has, he or she has their own bosses na 
would dictate uh, certain revisions and etc. Mm-hmm. So so the, that's the reason guys na yeah, chill lang kami and then kahit na kunyari mas magaling nga yung artist na yun, uh, we are more inclined to be inspired than actually maingit kasi mm-hmm. we wish na sana we had that opportunity to we yes. were able to have that same kind of environment to the same to develop those kinds of skill but mm-hmm. i think we are doing great naman and also now imparting our knowledge and wisdom naman to younger uh para aspiring artists and maybe future broadcasters diba yes exactly and yun nga to me i'm very excited working with people na talagang fresh grad mga ganun mm. kasi they have fresh ideas eh they have so um, yun nga, super cool ideas but yeah just like i said earlier because for me i thought i was good already before when i graduated i thought i was good already because i knew how to edit eh. mm-hmm. and i love editing and you know my classmates were reassuring me my professors were reassuring me but when i got to the real world when i stepped inside yun nga, when i stepped inside my <laughs> editing bay nawala lahat yun. <laughs> Everything I learned, <laughs> no, wala lahat when I when I sat down from the monitor. May medyo ano cross uh, throat. Everything, no, wala. <laughs> no, wala. <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. No, wala talaga sa lahat eh. Parang so, naiyak ka pa. <laughs> Sobrang pressure ba? <laughs> Super pressured. I guess iba na talaga. Iba, i- you know, iba yung classroom setting. Iba yung setting pag nasa ano kana. Pag nasa uh, media industry ka na. Because you, you're gonna feel the pressure one point or another. You're gonna... Lalo na pag pinapanood mo na yung, ano, yung gawa mo sa TV. Mm-hmm. I remember dati na nag-i-edit yun nga. Nag-i-edit ako. Pinap- ang, ano ko nun, ang teleserye ko nun kay Coco Martin. Mm-hmm. Tapos ito yung pinapanood namin siya. Kinakabahan ako lagi. Kasi parang... Baka may pitik. Oo. Oh, oh, may may makita ka. Mali. Uh, share ko lang yung story. There is isang graphic artist. Sobrang puyat na niya. Hindi ko na may mention yung name. Um... Nag-render na, umere na. Tapos mamaya, bumalik yung supervisor. Uh, sorry, kailangan kang munang suspended for a while. Bakit? Yung spelling ng black-eyed peas mo. Peace. Oh my God! <laughs> black-eyed peas. So yeah, mga ganun tayo. Nakaka-pressure siya. Pero yes, what I said, if you have an undying love for this for this industry, you're gonna, you're gonna do well, I guess. Mm-hmm. Patawag si Merwin. Anyway. <laughs> So, Baka gusto niya mag-call-in. <laughs> pwede ka mag-call-in, Merwin. Um, kung tumatawag ata ang head ng ano Filipino Broadcast Design ano ngayon, department. <laughs> so, I know. So, uh, what else can we talk about in part sa mga kids? So, uh, right now din, I usually talk about this sa aking students. So, I give them the actual scenarios in terms of writing. I taught them yung uh, audio-video script style natin na pag... Ano, sulat yep. kasi mm-hmm. there's no more time to do that long scripts and storyboards to be honest eh. pag sa atin it's just really mi- within hours lang eh okay yes. you write it you edit it mamaya e-ere within 3 hours you know? mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> so, mm-hmm. that is so true and you also have to be very meticulous mm-hmm. kailangan ano, keen yung eye mo sa lahat ng bagay wrong spelling mali yung kulay mali yung ano actually my experience ko with in terms of that is when it comes to script because mm-hmm. um di ko na rin babanggitin yung pangalan niya pero most of the time yung voicer kapag may mali hindi niya bino-voice so yun pag wala akong voice wala akong i-airing cloud oh no <laughs> yeah. well, so, di ka pwede naman ikaw yung mag-try mag-bosses hindi <laughs> <laughs> pwede <laughs> isa lang isa lang ang pwede mag-voice <laughs> at pag hindi niya yung bino-voice yun pero out of carelessness ko rin kasi mali yung spelling or Alam mo, as simple as wala lang comma mm. or as simple as walang apostrophe, hindi niya i-voice yun. So, may mga ganong types of people you're gonna work with. You have to be very meticulous talaga. It pays also. It pays also. Kasi minsan, doon tumatagal yung revision mo eh. Pag, alam mo yun, okay yung design, maganda yung design, pero may mga konting minor revision na kanyari. Yun nga, mali yung kulay, mali yung spelling, walang logo, hindi kompleto. So, yun nga. As a graphic designer or producer or a video editor, Kailangan meticulous ka, hindi yung rebel ka lang na edit ka na edit, maganda naman yung output. Kailangan malinis. Malinis yes. and very precise. Uh, and then, very precise. Yeah, my system or workflow ka at least naka yes. put in place. Lalo na kasi, 
uh, maraming kids din uh, impressed na well I not I'm not trying to put them down pero marami rin kasi I see this a lot in the mga kids na um, bata pa lang they get an award very yeah. they're very impressed with themselves now parang they feel like they own the world pero uh, once mangyari guys na that was just one project but once bigla kayong um, bigyan ng sampo all at once Mm-hmm. Doon, doon yun mararamdaman ang, or yeah. doon yun yung makikita ang someone who is pro and mm-hmm. mature and someone who is, yun nga, in, uh, un-pro tsaka immature. So, yes, 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 so, yes. I agree. Totally agree. So, yeah, kasi yeah, I see this din kasi masyadong, sometimes may mga bata na ayaw na matuto, lalo na if we tell them, uy, if you do that, uh something bad will happen kasi ano ayo makinig etc and then it is it's too late now when they're in, in there so and then so <laughs> make the trolls you know okay wait let's entertain this bakit po pangit ang mga visual effects ng mga teleserye and lies of effects <laughs> ng hollywood <laughs> sabi okay, ni edward okay, handog okay okay <laughs> Okay, Edward Handog. Uh, how about you Hello. answer that? Uh, based from your uh, experience with iPos, by the way, guys, ako rin galing iPos, pero I want Mika to explain. Kasi syempre, I knew this all along, 20 years na, pero mm-hmm. she's new in the industry. Describe and how did you understand bakit ang pangat ng visual effects sa telesere? I agree. I agree. Before, before I went to, of course, to the network, you know, Isa ako sa mga nagtataka, bakit? Ano nangyayari? Bakit yung dugo wala sa katawan? Bakit? Yung mga ganang bagay. But then when I got there eventually, I, I, I totally understood it. Kasi, you know, um, the Philippine media industry has a very different system and workflow from the Hollywood independent, uh, from the Hollywood media industry. Kasi, one, one thing is money. You know, they have the budget, they have the, they have the people, and almost everybody wants to work in Hollywood. So, you know, they got the best people, they, they pay the best people to get the job done in a short amount of time, you know. So, for us, since, you know, sometimes we are very limited on budget, kahit na sabi mo, gano, eh, we're talking about peso, we're not talking about dollars kasi. So, yun, minsan, kahit gano ka, kahit, um, yun nga, kahit gano mo ko gustong gawin na pagandahin itong certain project na to, minsan may mga factors talaga. Most of it, ang factor is time. That's one. They don't have much time. Kasi, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, there are times, I'm not saying always, there are times na minsan, isushoot ngayong hapon, e-airin na mamaya ang gabi. Nangyayari <laughs> Wait, define, define to shoot ngayong hapon. Is it 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then I air at 6? Magsistart, minsan magsistart 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Magsushoot, dadating yung material sa editing bay na 5 p.m. Ang ere ang ere ka 8 or 9. So, imagine <laughs> the time, right? So, you know, um, these people, the people who work behind this, the editors, the graphic artists, sino ba namang may gusto ng hindi maganda at pulidong work, right? That is but true. you know, because of time pressure sometimes, um, but to, I completely understand. Kasi ako naman, bilang audience, ayoko naman nang din na may pinapanood ako hindi maganda, ba? Pero um, in a production perspective, sometimes nakakalagpas tong mga to, because of yun, simply because of the time limit, the time constraint. So, as much as possible, bitang tao lang din naman po itong mga gumagawa. Hindi naman din sila makina. Minsan, may lumalagpas na mali, may lumalagpas na hindi talaga tama. Kasi nga, may mga instances na kailangan mabilis ka magtrabaho. And you, you know what happens. Pag mabilis lang yung nag-work, we tend to, you know, we tend to forget some of the important stuff also. Which I think, we need to improve on the and, media industry. And then really, they really do this really every day. <laughs> Sometimes they do it every day. Pero you know, that schedule every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> may mga ano eh, may mga nangyayari and na out of control mo talaga. As much as, because you know, my workflow yan eh. Before a show starts, kailangan or before a show airs, kailangan may bangko na na at least three weeks. Mm-hmm. So that's it. 
Pero, you know, because of out-of-control situations, for example, the ito, yung pandemic, or for example, um, you know, calamities or any or or something. Kunyari, bumagyo. So, minsan, nababacklog talaga, and when that happens, domino effect na yun. So, yun, eventually, yun din, na ganun yun nangyayari. So, medyo yung visual effects, medyo hindi talaga okay. <laughs> Pero, you know, just to deliver, and, you know, on time. You do it anyway. Although, comment ko lang, yung mga colleagues ko dati sa ABS, they're now doing the VFX for Endgame. They're now doing the VFX for yes. King Kong. So, yes. when I ask them, so hindi pala tayo yung problem. <laughs> I mean, but, <laughs> when I tell the stories to my colleagues, mga American colleagues, mga pote, as in, nag-google, mm-hmm. so, wow, that's insane. <laughs> Parang, yes. within, within hours, nakagawa ah, ka ng, like, a monster mm-hmm. or a squid and then you composite it. You do it all by yourself while sa kanila, they have teams and teams of professionals. Diba? They have a lot of, ano eh, kasi yun nga, what I'm saying is, they also have the budget. Mm. We're, we're, parang apples to oranges din kasi minsan eh, mm. ang media industry ng Philippines and media industry ng Hollywood on different perspectives lang. For this one, we're talking about, yun, um, budget. Mm. So, yun. So, and also, kasi since it's Hollywood, some of the best people talaga aims to be there. Mm. So, some of the best talaga are there. But that doesn't mean naman na we don't have the best here. You know, sometimes may na, mga nakakalampas yun talaga. Mm. Pero, you know, how the song goes, even the best falls down sometimes. <laughs> ang, ang opinion ka man, uh, opinion ko naman dyan is, pag kunyari limited yung budget, dapat i-restrain mo rin ang genre na kaya mo. Yes. Uh-oh. That's also fine. So, kung yung no, limited budget mo, huwag mo naman ipilit na super high, sci-fi na uh, post-apocalyptic na film ang gusto mo i-produce. Sabay, mm-hmm. ang budget mo lang, 1 million. Or... Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so we're, if we're talking to potential producers, kung meron man sa audience, if we're talking to poten- potential producers, yun nga, it's one thing din yung sinasabi ni Gerard na uh-huh. i-ano din natin, para streamline natin. Uh-huh. Ano yung realistic, ano yung hindi realistic from their work. Uh-huh. Right At saka... Uh, add ko lang pala, experience ko sa Japan, um, I shared this with uh, Japanese producers. Mm-hmm. Kasi we were in the studio of yung makers ng Ultraman, yung, TV, yung Netflix series. Oh, uh, yeah. Sabi ko, wow, this is amazing. Uh, I have just have one question. Um, how long did you make it? And then, um, how many people were involved? Sabi nila sa akin, mm-hmm. Uh, six years, uh, sorry, three years pre-production, three years pre-production, mm-hmm. six years production. And then, uh, nirelease lang nila sa Netflix nung three years after. Yes. So, um, and then, one thing din, yung mga producer nila uh, knows how yung mga jargons ng video editors. Kasi apparently, uh, if you want to be a producer in Japan, they take this uh, certification exam, kahit basic mm-hmm. lang. So you would you would study on this and then you would actually learn how long to render this anong gamit siya if you render it in 3D sa so mga after sa after effects and then after that you go put it into premiere and then um parang talaga you have to take that test to be a producer so that when you become a producer if a client says yung isang studio kaya naman yan eh edi pag yung yung producer nila has the confidence of saying then go ahead Mm-hmm. Ganon, ganon sila. Then go ahead. But I assure you, it's not in good quality. Ganon ng Japanese. So I was so impressed na sabi ko, wow, I wish we we have that mentality as well. Na, I mean, parang, uh, to be honest, sometimes here, basta, alam mo, galing ka sa mahal na school, producer ka mm-hmm. na, or may mayaman ka lang, producer ka na. Alam mo, like, wala kang ano eh. Wala ka malang effort na at least learn the craft and then collaborate with mm-hmm. the makers. Yun lang yung opinion ka. So, <laughs> what do you think? Well, yun nga. Um, for me kasi, I actually like his attitude. Eh. Go ahead. <laughs> then go ahead. Sometimes, uh, kung creative ka talaga. Kasi we're talking about creative. Eh. So, well, al- alam mo yun, it's very hard to sell. If you're selling yourself to someone, it's in, minsan, it's intangible, your creativity. Eh. Kasi mm-hmm. there are times na ang ganda no real, pero when you work in a realistic setting or when you work together, hindi naman pala okay ka work. Ah, so, there are times na 
Oo, may ganun talaga. So, you know, intangible kasi yung creativity. And I like his attitude. Pero if you know in yourself na it's something na, yun nga, kasi your, your, your clients pay not only just you, but your years of experience. So, I like that attitude actually, I guess, na parang, it's okay if, if kung hindi okay sa'yo yung price, just politely say no, and then mm-hmm. go, you know, I like it. I like it that I like that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Saka less, I wish I could do that. Uh, well, I th- I think you do that na. Medyo <laughs> kaya mo na tumanggi sa clients ba ngayon? <laughs> <laughs> Work in progress. Work in progress. <laughs> uh, okay, sige. So, meron pa tayong comment sa ating active na viewer, si Edward. Sabi niya, pinipraise ka niya. Ang galing mo, Miss Maika daw. <laughs> If you ever become an influencer or production manager, what can you suggest they do to improve the visual effects or maybe the producing? What can you suggest nga ba to improve uh, things in motion graphic plugs, visual effects, production filmmaking? What what can you suggest in the Philippine setting? Mm, for me kasi, if for me from a producer standpoint, no pays well and it's also a good thing if you have a background on everything kasi you have an understanding of everything eh. Hindi tulad ng minsan kasi ito pag nasa media industry ka na marami kasi yan. So pwedeng writer ka, pwedeng producer ka, pwedeng graphic artist ka. Pero kung producer ka lang in a sense at hindi mo naiintindihan yung nature ng editing hindi mo naiintindihan yung nature ng writing, hindi mo na, alam mo yun, you don't have a 360 degree background on things may hirapan ka to work with your people. And, you know, being in the me- media industry is working with people talaga, working close with people. So, I guess that's one thing we need to improve on is try to get a grasp of everything when it comes from pre to post. Kasi if you just learn about your craft, for example, in graphic design, and you don't have an understanding of the producer's perspective, then you're gonna have a problem then. Kasi all you're gonna see is just one side of the picture. You're not gonna see the other side of the picture. So I guess it it it's very important kung may intindihan mo din sila. You know, try to put yourself in their shoes. Mm-hmm. So kunyari, they can submit. So try to put yourself in their shoes. Bakit sila galit? Bakit, bakit ano sa tingin mo yung nag-trigger sa kanila kung late ka nagpasa? Well, kasi may mga, may mga, ano yan, may mga factors yan. Kung late ka nagpasa, late magpo-promote, hindi mo pa-promote yung brand nila, sales are gonna go down. And they still have to pay you. Mm. You know, right? So yun, I guess one thing that we can improve on is having a perspective not just of your craft, but also the craft of um, other people. For example, in production management, if you're if you're a producer, also understand the craft of the director, also understand the craft of the, your graphic artist, your, your ano, kasi especially yung mga creative talaga yung nilalabas. Kasi kung creative ang nilalabas niyan, one way or another, mabuburn out yan. So, you know, are you, are you gonna be the person who tells them to just work, work, work? Or are you gonna be someone na who also encourages them? Kasi it also pays. Kasi, you know, since creative yung nilalabas niyan, kailangan may pumapasok din sa nila. Also, if, um, I think it also pays if everybody tries to learn um, tries to be in the learning process constantly. So, wag kang mag-stop. Wag kang mag-stop. If you're a producer, try to invite your your friends to go on workshops. Try to invite, you know, try to sad- mag-brainstorm together. Because that really works. Wag mong hayaan yung, wag mong hayaan yung teammates mo na sila lang lagi. Wag mong hayaan yung writer mo na siya lang lagi nagsusulat. Yun, mag, I guess. Uh, Edward asks, Sang ka daw ngayon? If, uh-huh. Edward, so if you're just joining us, she's with Filipino Channel. She is yes. in from sa former office ko. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. from time to time, bumibisita kasi ang uh, ay, tito, kuya, <laughs> old co-worker <laughs> sa office. <laughs> so, yes. So, ayun. Uh, last question siguro. I think, uh, apparently, kung di mo lang ma-realize, we're now one hour and a half. <laughs> last question. What will be the new normal naman in terms of creatives now gantong quarantine? What do you think, in your opinion? 
Sorry, sorry, what's that? Uh, ano yung tingin mo ang bagong magiging new normal in terms of broadcasting in this, kunyari yung pandemic, mga quarantines, mga era na to? Mm-hmm. So for now, I think yung new normal talaga is working from where you are right now. And you know, sobrang grabe yung discovery ko this, this pandemic season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi parang there are things that can be done where you are mm-hmm. pala mm-hmm. especially pag yun nga naka quarantine tayo so it 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 tends to be a bit more stressful but you know at the end of the day it's also more productive kasi minus minus the travel time minus everything and also wala na yung wala na yung feel na this meeting should have been just an email <laughs> <laughs> so nabawa, nabawas yon nabawas yon and there there's more time actually for 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 a lot of things kasi for us creative people parang we don't just tend to focus on one thing on our work kasi syempre as creative people we also have kailangan may pumapasok din sa atin na creative juices so for me I think the new normal is you know ye- working from home I guess it pays it pays it pays working from home hindi kasi, ba mas stressful kasi working from home unlike that eh, you clock out now yes, you, yes. you don't clock out it's forever on it's more stressful actually. It's more stressful. But if you see it, kung, I think if it's not every day, mm-hmm. if it's not every day, parang, kasi ngayon wala tayo, talaga choice eh. We can't go out. Mm-hmm. But if we're gonna talk about the new normal where you have the freedom to go in coffee shops, where you have the freedom to go on the beach and work there, or to go in the office and work there, I think it's it's gonna it's gonna make us more productive. It can be a bit more stressful, but I think it's just for me, ah, from my perspective, it's uh, it's stressful because, um, you know, araw 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 kung na work from home, so wala ka talaga ng choice. Because there are times you you have to be in the office, right? But I think if it's gonna be the new normal in a sense, now let's say MWF work from home or Tuesday Thursday work from home, I think it can be very it it's just it's the beginning of something really more productive, especially for the creative people. Because for me. Um, pag nasistress ako, I just go down and I call my dogs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or I can watch Breaking Bad while while working. So there are a lot of of pros. There are some cons also. But if it's gonna be the new normal, I think it's something exciting too. My question tayo kay Jeric Luistro. Is it possible kaya po na pwede mag-apply sa broadcasting kaming mga education teachers graduates? Um, yun. Actually, it's possible. It's possible. Pero what I advise you to do, actually, sinabi ko rin sa tip ko kanina, if you're in a different um, industry right now, or kung graduate ka sa ibang industry, I suggest you invest in yourself and go to workshops, go to seminars, go... Kasi that's where you build your network also. Minsan may mga mas kilala pa akong mga tao na nursing graduate, pero mas productive sila, mas creative pa sila than those I'm working with in the network. So don't be discouraged if you know if you want to enter this industry, then go for it. Ayun nga yung sinabi ko kanina, don't give up on your passion because it's going to make you happy. And if you're happy, you're going to be productive. If you're going to be productive, you know, you're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> you make a lot of money out of it. <laughs> so yun. Pakita for... mo, pakita mo. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <The> joke lang. <laughs> Ikit na po. Joke lang. De, pero yun, um, kung iba yung, iba yung background mo, I suggest you go to workshops. Invest mm-hmm. in yourself. It's gonna beef up your resume. So, para pag, you know, kung if you enter, if you get an interview, sabihin man sa'yo ng employer na, oh, but you studied education. So, why are you going to, to the, why, why are you jumping to the media industry? Pwede mong isabak dun sa kanila yung, um, I went to workshops. I went to I went to editing workshops. For example, I went to I I'm a, blah blah is my mentor, and I fell in love with editing. So that's why I want to enter the media industry. Yeah. Mm. It's a very versatile industry. So I guess if you just you know take the time to invest in yourself, you're gonna be good. Well, ang tanong ko rin pala is, um, so do you think going inside the broadcast industry like ours, nagmamatter ba ang May certificate ka sa Photoshop, may certificate ka sa Adobe. Uh, mm-hmm. Nagmamatter rin ba na, alam mo yun, um, those papers versus working? Um, 
for me kasi I've never experienced I've never ex- had the experience where in hinanapan ako ng ganun. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's more of um it's more of like an addition a bonus to your resume. It's more of a bonus also to yourself. It it's not required, it's not necessarily required, but it's very nice to have. It's very nice to have kasi um doon mapapatunayan mo talaga eh. Mapapatunayan mo na certified editor ka, so certified the premier pro editor ka or avid media composer editor ka. So it's always good to have it in on hand para mapakita mo. Para less talk na rin, you know. Kasi may proof ka eh. <laughs> Although, but, ay, tayo yeah. naman wala tayong certificate. Wala, <laughs> wala. But that's what I was gonna say. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean you're any less to those who have it. That's... Tam, ta, yun nga, sabi nung, sabi nung isa ko ring office mate, si Kuya Raf, wala yan sa, wala yan sa pana, nasa Indian yan. <laughs> 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 Ayun. Nasa panas in. I like that. I like. I will use that. <laughs> Ayun. So yes, kasi maraming ding misconception uh including I guess some people na even me pag nagtuturo ako, has uh-huh. yung certification mo of Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop. Para ako uh wala, I use it. <laughs> And then uh I've been involved with uh thousands of projects na nga <laughs> and then i think wala naman akong tinanungan ng certificate for ako din hindi naman ako hinanapan pero um also tip to some of the newbies or kunyari three years four years now working if you want to work if you want to take your chances abroad that can also help mm-hmm. certificates can also help it can Ayun, so it's useful so, yeah yes kung yun talagang lalo na kung prominent yung pinag-workshopan mo. Mm-hmm. That can be very useful. Mm-hmm. Pero yun nga, um, th- at the end of the day, those are just certificates. It doesn't mean you're any less good. Mm-hmm. If you don't have it, it's fine. You just, you know, pakita mo lang sana, I guess, your demo reel. Pakita mo yung mga uh, sample works mo. Actually, also... uh, yun yung sasabihin ko sana next eh. Uh, before, I was the one who was actually picking kung sino yung hire sa department natin. So, yeah. So, akin, it didn't matter kung anong school ka. It didn't yeah. matter kung anong diploma. Kahit nung kanyari, hindi ko kilala yung school mo. Pero when I see your demo reel and then I interview you, number one, uh, well, the thing I look for the first is, do you have the right attitude? So, yes. are you willing to learn? So, mm-hmm. number two is, if nakikita ko kulang ka sa skills, pero you are a very good person and then attitude wise then as magja-jive ka with the group mm-hmm. I would likely tend more to hire you compared sa someone na super galing pero obnoxious from the start pa lang imit yes attitude uh, is yun attitude is always 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 beats talent mm-mm. that is true kasi uh, talent can always be developed yes attitude is a little bit more tricky kasi mm-hmm. ganito lang ang theory ko guys kaya ako ganun mamili Kita nyo, si Mika has tell, told you a lot of stories na crazy, insane stories na trying to catch the deadline. Mm-hmm. Okay, ganito yan. Just imagine, oh, super galing nga siya. Tapos meron kayong isang deadline na parang impossible to catch. Pag mm-hmm. yung attitude ng person na yan, nagbe-blame ng mga tao, magaling kasi siya, tapos iiwang kayo dahil nga ayaw niya madawit, ayaw kong kasama yon. Ang gusto ko yes. kahit na alam mo yun kahit na lacking siya sa skills pero he's true he's uh, he's gonna go with it until the end I'd like that better mm-hmm. Yo, so, I agree me too kasi, I I I'd rather work with people who are teachable mm-hmm. people who have the right attitude attitude than people who are you know super good okay naman kaso when it comes to attitude mm-hmm. yun iwan na kasi no, ere oh ayo Exactly. Parang I'd rather all of us fail together tapos alam mo yun mag-inuman na lang tayo. Next time, let's do it better. Ganun-ganun. Kesa yeah. naman sa afternoon, alam mo may grudge ka ba doon sa tao na yun tapos baka siraan ka pa sa ibang tao. It, alam mo yun, it, it trickle, ano siya, trickle effect eh. So, mm-hmm. so yun, tira na yung working relationship niya rin. Working relationship at the same time, alam mo yun, parang mag escalate pa yun beyond sa deadline. Yeah. So, yeah. I, uh, that's that's just my opinion and then si-share ko lang. <laughs> <laughs> so, But I agree. 
Agree. 100%. And also, tip din yan sa mga fresh graduates. Attitude beats talent. So, you know, kung sa tingin mo magaling ka, don't be humble. Be humble. Mm-hmm. Always be humble. Don't be too proud. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, uh, we are now uh, almost an hour and 35 minutes. So, masyado na siguro matagal pag we continue this conversation. Baka magkaroon tayo ng episode 2 na lang, guys. <laughs> so, I hope you like Mika as a guest. I think I have a lot of positive responses sa comments. <laughs> so, we'll definitely have you back, siguro. <laughs> <laughs> to discuss more about uh, experiences. Uh, okay, so uh, by the way, sa mga producers watching sa TFC, this is my sample broadcast. As you can see downstream, upstream, and then my ad break. So Ned, if you're watching, wala lang. <laughs> joke lang. Uh, so, ayan, I guess hanggang dito muna lang muna tayo. Thank you again, Mika, for your time. Uh, may gusto ka bang batiin bago tayo mag-end? Um, hindi ko alam kung nandiyan pa siya eh. Kaya Merwin, hi! And all TFC peeps. Also, um, FEU students who are watching. Kung may FEU students man, I'm an FEU alumni. So, alumnus. Uh, or al- <laughs> dominantly, by the way, guys, dominantly ang BD Broadcast Design Team. Mara- puro FEU, no? Like, 3 out of 5. Yeah. 3 out of 5? Actually, yung producers din. Ang daming tag FEU, oh, right? Oh, daming now. FEU, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys are doing great, yeah. Hope to work with you. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, so, thank you guys. Shout out to FE Arts Alabang din sa mga students ko you are watching right now. Uh, I hope madami kayong natutunan sa live stream na to. So, tune in sa next live stream sa YouTube channel and Facebook ng Digital Guru. So, uh, this is Gerard and Mika signing off. Thank you guys. Okay.